don't have one. <laughs> I always wanted to do that if I had one. I don't have one either. Well, okay. Well, speaking of, we're talking about mustaches. And because it is that time of the month, it is No Shave Movember. Yes, it's here. The one month where Americans will see more mustaches in the streets, all for a good cause. Yes, and while it's become quite the tradition for men to help raise funds and awareness for men's health, it doesn't mean that men need to transform into lazy cavemen. Just like There's, the other day. <laughs> <laughs> there is ways to uh, embrace the challenge with class and style, of course. Yep, we've got the top celebrity mustache styles to try this November in today's edition of NVU from Massage Envy. Right. Celebrity number one, Lionel Richie. You huh. know who that is, right? Yeah, and it's Nicole Richie's dad. Okay, yes. It's the stash that st has stood the test of time. You could say that Lionel Richie's stash is stuck on you. I got this feeling down deep on my chin and I just won't shave it. I thought it was um, No, no, I changed the words. I changed the words. Oh. I guess it really will be with him until the end of time. That's right. And while it may look like a basic mustache, think again. This icon has it meticulously groomed so that not even a single hair falls over the edge of his upper lip. It's definitely a very manicured look. I like it. It's like an arrow. Like, yeah, well, look up at no, my Susan, eyes. No, because then he's got that little thing right there underneath his... Yeah, but look at how pretty it is. Look up at my very eyes good. and look down at my... We racing. salute you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So another celebrity that's taking the mustache trend by storm. If there's one celebrity that can make mustaches look hot, well, it's this guy. Milo Ventimiglia. He's been sporting the stash for a while now. Thanks to his dad role on the hit TV drama, This Is Us. Milo's mustache is a medium length and is cut off right as it passes the tip line. Critics can say his stash is genuinely cool, just like him. I actually like him without the stash. He was uh, Rocky's son. He played in Heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, that, it's okay. It's good because, and Gilmore Girls, yes. Yeah, she does uh, look cool with that. I mean, that. I mean, he's just a cool guy, and I like him, so Love whatever it. he wants to wear, he can wear it. All right, if you're blessed with a lot of hair, maybe you'll <laughs> want to attempt Richard Roundtree's cool stash. Damn, dog. That's cool. <laughs> the trick here <laughs> is letting the hair grow down and around the corners of your mouth, giving it a bit of a handlebar feel. So go overboard, and you'll look absurd. But hit that happy medium, and, well, just look at the man. That's a very intense picture. Look at that with the sideburns and everything. Yeah, he looks I mean, cool. it just matches. It just goes. It goes. <laughs> I'll get you for pretty. Like, I just want to hold his mustache like that. Okay, <laughs> sorry, moving on. This next celebrity has us all wondering whether or not his stash is real. It's uncannily uniform and kind of looks like he glued a piece of felt to his upper lip. Also, the color resembles a Sharpie. What do you guys think? I think he looks good with it. And besides his eyebrows, it's the only hair on his head. So, he wears it well. Steve Harvey, nice thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously. Okay, now this, this next celebrity is responsible for the iconic hipster stash that you can see millennials sporting these days. Roland Glenn Fingers was a pitcher for the athletics, but also known for sporting the obscure, overly genteel Brooklyn bartender's mustache of choice. The full-blown Twisties handbar, handlebar is ridiculous in that it is actually deserving of ridicule most of the time, but there's an off chance it'll work for you if you've got a little bit of a finger's natural swagger. Plus, it distracted batters in the late 60s to the mid 80s. <laughs> can I wait? Can I just say, Erica Miles, our producer, I feel like she has a personal spot for this one because <laughs> her husband David is sporting something like that. He's such a millennial. Has he really? Yeah, right, Erica? I mean, she's in our, she's in our ear right now, but. Okay, so okay, apparently so they he had got an into argument. an argument and he shaved it. Oh, okay. She said, you must shave it! OMG! <laughs> All right, David! We, we've got even more tips <laughs> for you on K2N2.com's Living 808 page mm -hmm. and on Facebook. And if you'd like these tips, be sure to share them with your friends and family and join in the fun by sharing your tips on our Facebook page. Yep, NVU is brought to you by our friends at Massage Envy of Oahu and Maui. They want you to keep your body working with regular massages, advanced skin care, and assisted stretch. Massage Envy Hawaiian Islands also wants to give one lucky viewer a chance to try one of their relaxing services. For your chance to win a $100 gift card, go to k 2com look for our NVU sweepstakes, fill out the entry form, and you're registered. Really that easy, so head on over after the show. We're not going to open it up until 10 o'clock.
Um, I gotta so, ask you, which is your favorite? I like the Lionel Richie one. Yeah, me too. Especially because I like his songs. Don't and it's groomed. You. Huh? It's groomed. It's groomed really no, nicely. No, well, no, yeah. I mean, it's like, it, like you said, it looks like an arrow, and then the little, and then he has a little thing. Uh, that, my dad actually used to have a beard. We'll talk really? beards in another NV segment. Oh gosh, I had one just last Thursday. You have a, a slight stash now. Do I do. Even, I have a five o'clock shadow. I bet you're one of those that have a hard time growing any kind of facial hair. No, okay, seriously, and I say this all the time. I've always wanted to try it, but I, maybe it's the Asian in me. But my hair will go from here, 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 like in patches. Oh, it's so nose. bad. It's so bad. All right, we've got some. <laughs> we, we totally digress. 